City Developments is not ruling out the possibility of restructuring. This comes after Capital Land earlier announced it's splitting up its real estate development business and its fund management units. It's a strategy aimed at pursuing growth as an asset light firm. Brendan Tanoja with more. Rising construction and land costs can thin out a property development's profit margins. Analysts say this could spur developers to look to fund management for growth. City Development says the strategy may not be suitable for all when asked if it would pursue similar moves. I must emphasize that one size doesn't fit all. I think our business model is quite different from Capital Lands in terms of scale and also the residential development component. So having said that, so our inventory and asset portfolio for our RESI portfolio is also quite different. So I think each each uh, company or each group got its own unique points. Of course, uh, it doesn't mean that we will say no, no, no. I think, of course, at some point of time, of course, there is uh, some possibility that we will look at uh, the, uh, some kind of structuring. Industry watchers say while the fund management business is lucrative, there are downsides amid the pandemic. It would be a more efficient manner of managing the balance sheet. The key questions are, how quickly will the real estate market recover to the pre-pandemic situation? The other question is, to what extent would the yield be attractive in a low-yield environment? City developments expects demand in Singapore's property market to remain healthy. It believes foreign buyers will return to the market following global vaccination rollouts and the lifting of travel restrictions.